Hey YouTube, it's uh been it's been a while. Uh, I've been busy with work. This is my primary job, which lets me have my fun in uh, the little home data center. A lot of people have been asking me where the videos. Um, overall, there's been lots of changes, uh, a lot of uh, replacements, upgrades, make it more efficient. Um, a lot of people ask me how much power costs and stuff like that. So I uh, want to give you guys a little update. I'll be starting back full time into uh, YouTube again. So uh, let's get started. So as you guys can see, I have uh, one host with two Xeon E5 uh, 2640 CPUs, 2.5 gigahertz. It is an R720. I replaced it with my R810s. I still have all my R810s that I used to have. But just for 24-7 performance, it's more efficient to run a R720. So we have eight, three terabyte drives in here. We have it in RAID 10. So parity you got and redundancy, mirroring. So uh, for VMware, RAID 10 is probably the best thing you can probably think of. Um, my RA10 still here, still has the same spec, same everything. Just keep it off because idle power is 330 watts, whereas my R720 is a big drastic difference of 168 watts with over 27 VMs running full time. Um, I am going to upgrade the memory to this. Probably make around 256 gigs of RAM or probably 128. Double up from the 196 to I'll see what it goes to. But still have the edge router. Got my my WAN, my uh, DMZ, and then I have my um, fiber SFP going to a virtual PF sense on here. I used to have this one, but this one's been giving me little hiccups, so I keep that off for now. But I have a, a VM runs flawlessly. It is on the host. Um, other than that, good performance. I think it has two v vCPUs and uh, six gigs of RAM. Um, this is a 2000 VA UPS. This is a uh, 1500 or a thousand I think VA. So this one does the server, this one does the switches and the Comcast modem business gateway. And it's just a switch laying there. It's a 2960G Cisco. Just, just a hard drive. Got my little this is all the hot wiring in the house. There's a few other ones that I've wired, but they don't even plugged in, they're just empty. Let's go to the back now. Still same switch. Cisco Catalyst to our 3750G. That is doing all my uh, Switching, just sitting at level two, layer two. I mean, no need for layer three switching. Um, so here is that fiber coming in that you guys saw, coming into here, and then the WAN's coming out right here. So there's the WAN coming in, the WAN coming out, and then going into the switch right there. This is actually part of that DMZ you guys saw on the other side, so I can host my VMs like my web server and stuff like that without having to go through my private network and this one's just more exposed and I just have ACLs and firewall built into the VMs of Linux and all that um, Hydrec console switch to my uh, the switch 3750 VGA we have 4 1 gig on board uh, Ethernet I do have two 1100 watt power supplies. I upgraded them. Reason why? I want this server to have a GPU. The reason is 
I want to do some VDI and stuff like that. I purchased a K10 Tesla before, and I've installed it into these two slots here. The problem is, is the K10 does not do VDI for VGP for VMware, so I had to return it, which was around $500. And uh, I was like, okay, let's buy a, 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 I think it's a K80 Tesla VGPU, but they're almost $1,500 to $2,000. And I'm like, nah, I'd rather just build a new gaming computer or something. Just hold off on that project. There's the back of the R810. It is currently unplugged. No need for me to keep it in. Um, there you go. There's my color coded for the UPS. Which one? And these are APC strips. So, other than that, there's a little update for you guys. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, and uh, thanks for watching.